Modern conservatives have been shocked to find out that by thoughtlessly sowing their kids into government schools, they've reaped a harvest of godless statists. But there is a warning here for us. By and large, recent generations have abdicated their uh, parental duty to educate their children due to disengaged and distant parenting. In a community like ours, committed to families providing a Christian education for their children, there's a lurking danger to think that what happened to a generation of government-educated children can't happen here. If you mail in your parental duty to educate, discipline, and train up your children, you can expect to harvest what you've sown. You sow in disengaged parenting, you reap resentful and rebellious children. Autopilot parenting not only happens amongst the unbelieving, but it can also happen and appear here in the church. And when it does, the results are worse by far. You shouldn't scorn unbelievers for reaping what they've sown if you're sowing the seeds in your own children for spiritual apathy, uncontrolled passions, and covenantal apostasy. The blessings of Christian education isn't an automatic blessing. It will descend into hypocrisy and powerlessness and compromise the moment that Christian parents think that their duty to raise up their children to love and fear the Lord can be done by others. This temptation is present regardless of the educational choice you make. We bemoan the fruits of government education and and it deserves all the scorn we can heap upon it. But you must not be deceived. You can't raise faithful Christian children just by being in proximity to other Christians. Christian community in the form of Christian schools or homeschool co-ops are an aid to raising our children, but it cannot replace firm and loving discipline from joyful fathers and mothers who are faithfully teaching their children to love the Lord, their God, 